Would you sleep in a bed that you come across in a dungeon? Hello and welcome to the Battling Barrow. In this video we are going to be making some beds um, based upon these little resin pieces that I found. I had two of these and I decided I needed some more. So yeah, let's make a bed. Who would honestly sleep in a bed in a dungeon? To make beds, take a piece of 10mm uh, foam and measure out a bit that is an inch and a quarter long and an inch and an eighth, inch and a sixteenth wide. Next, just going to measure this by eye, I need a bit of chipboard that is ever so slightly wider than the um, bed on both sides and about uh, an eighth or so higher, eighth of an inch higher than the bed itself so uh, I guess going back to mill this would be about 14 mil also need another bit that will be the same width uh, but not as high so about 12 mil high cut both of those out and score in a bit of a wood grain pattern onto both sides of them glue these into place on both ends Next, cut strips of chipboard that are a couple of mil thick. These need to be the same height as the end, so about 14, two about 40 mil and two about 12 mil. And these are then glued onto the corners of each bit of chipboard. Okay, next up is going to be the quilt. So looking at the little resin piece I'm using as inspiration, it also has a fold out bit there, which we'll cover later on. So to make the quilt, I'm just gonna use some uh, tissue paper that I'm gonna fold in half and then half again. You'll notice this will have a bit of a pattern on it. Yours may not, but if it does, try and get the pattern to be on the outside. Once that's folded up, I'm going to wrap it around the bed and then cut it into uh, the correct size. I'm going to mix up some watery glue uh, that I'll use to paste over the top. I'm also going to apply some straight up glue onto the bed where I'm going to glue the tissue paper, which you can't see because I'm doing this ever so slightly off camera because I'm an idiot, but there you go. Then I'm going to come in with the tissue paper and just wrap that around with the folded part at the bottom of the bed which would be the bit of chipboard that's only 12 mil and again I'm doing this off camera because I'm I have the intelligence of a banana apparently once that's in place I'm going to come in with some of the watered down glue and a brush and I'm just going to mix that up and then brush on to the top part of the tissue paper and this will give it, make it set really nice and sturdy. So whilst the tissue paper is still drying, I'm going to come in with a strip of paper. I'm using graph paper just for ease of cutting how wide it needs to be. In this case, it was about three quarters of a centimetre half an inch thick and I'm just going to wrap that around the top part um, and form a uh, sort of fold over on the sheet uh, cut that to size and then apply a bit of glue over the top to help it set uh, the pillows are going to show you two methods to make uh, the first is using green stuff so I'm just going to get some green stuff and squish it together until it goes green uh, a tip for this is to wet your fingers with water uh, so you can manipulate it without it sticking to your fingers so once it is in green so it's colored form once it's ready I'm going to make some pillows so I'm going to cut pull out a little bit and I'm going to use the resin piece as uh, just to help me out but you if you don't have this you can just eyeball it uh, I'm going to put it into a rough pillow shape put it on the um, bed and then use a sculpting tool to uh, flatten it out a bit and make it look a bit pillow shaped. 
and I shall do the same for the second pillow. For the next method I'm going to use uh, foam, in this case 6mm foam cut into a rough sh size of a pillow and then I'm just going to bevel the edges and whatnot, and I will then squish it down in between my fingers to make it look like a pillow. These are then glued onto the bed. Once it's all dry, it's time to paint it black. Um, I would probably recommend putting some sort of uh, extra into the black paint, either Mod Podge or PVA, just to help seal it and set it, give it an extra bit of strength. The wooden part of the bed is painted in a burnt umber. For the sheets, which is the bit of foam that is left exposed, uh, you don't really want to paint it white as such. They don't I imagine they have super white clean linen in sort of pseudo medieval times. So I'm going to use this sort of tan off-white tan color this is horse tone from um, coat of arms but you can use any similar type of color for the pillows I want a sort of really off-white color uh, brown I don't know what color medieval pillows would be uh, but in this case I thought this color works uh, and this is still legion drab for the covers, I'm imagining again um, they're not going to have sort of Spider-Man bed sets or anything, so I'm just going to go for some very naturalistic neutral colours. In this case, I'm going to try this Swamp Brown from Nostalgia 88. This is a very reddish brown, but you can experiment, which I'll do in a minute, showing I'll show you different colours you could potentially paint them. So here I'm using um, a green, a sort of very natural green, this is uh, Castellan Green from Citadel. Here I figured I might do a more luxurious bed, this is Vampire Red from Coat of Arms. Maybe if a uh, merchant is hiring a room in a, in a tavern they might have this more upmarket and cleaner bed. I I'd experiment with some blue, so this is Royal Blue from Coat of Arms. And then when that's done, I'm going to go over the brown with a brown wash just to bring out the wood grain texture. And with that, the beds are pretty much done, but I'm going to do a little extra step. I'm going to apply this magnetic uh, sheeting onto the back of them uh, so they can be used in my magnetic dungeon system. So they're compatible with that. And also it will give them a bit of weight and will protect the underneath uh, from getting dinged so I'm just gonna draw around onto the magnetic sheet cut that out and glue it in place and with that the beds are done so uh, we can have a little look at them just like to take this time to say thank you for watching um, and supporting the channel it means a lot thank you for the patrons I have that allow me to buy equipment and materials to make videos like this it means a lot to me guys so if you're a patron and watching this, a big, big thank you for that. Anyway, let's have a look at them set up. After examining the altar for a while, they try the other door. Upon opening it, they discover a small bedchamber with a bed. It looks like it hasn't been slept in for some time. 